the world is already well aware of the artistic brilliance of Pablo Picasso. Yet, in more recent years, and against the backdrop of a survivor-led global movement against sexual violence and abusive behaviour in general, many have started to re-evaluate the figure of the universally recognised genius. He was a women abuser. He had super toxic relationships with, with, with the women in her life. Maria Yopis is an artist, writer, activist and feminist, and in 2021, she and some of her students made headlines for a protest action they carried out in Barcelona's Picasso Museum, highlighting his abuse against one of his partners, Dora Mar. Because Dora Mar, she was a well-known photo surrealist photographer in Paris. In her, thir in her she was 30 years old, and and she had an amazing uh, uh, work. She was a uh, well-known, and she had a reputation. And then she started a relationship with Picasso, and again, he was uh, much older than her, she was really well known, and what happened with her artwork, it shrink, like her life and her creativity uh, shrink, like Picasso and her had a toxic relationship and she was it was usual that she was uh, that Picasso beat her, beat her uh, beat it her up till she fainted. It's nothing that it's like hidden or we found out. Or but my students were surprised, like to know this. Um, uh, in the class. Maria Yopis is clear that she's against cancel culture, but she believes that no information about such a figure should be hidden, because at the moment she feels that some parts of Picasso's legend are indeed hidden. That's a fact. I mean, he was an abuser and, and, he, and, and he did an amazing work. I mean, and he, his, his artwork changed the, the European art scene of the moment, and, that's, and that happened, and that was it. I don't think we should burn uh, Picasso's artwork. My, my, my aim, is, on the contrary, is I want more artworks to be there in the world, not less. In 2001, Marina Picasso, the granddaughter of the artist from his first marriage, released a book detailing the trauma that she and her family suffered at the hands of Pablo. The book tells how Marina's father was ostracised from the family. After they weren't allowed to attend the artist's funeral, Marina's brother drank bleach and suffered for months before dying aged 24. Marina now sells off any artworks she inherited, as she describes them as an inheritance without love. So how should we look back at a figure like Pablo Picasso, given everything that we know about him? I think it would be super interesting to look back in the figure of Picasso, of Picasso by looking at these portraits of uh, crying women that he has. And these are portraits of abused women. women. Like, I think it would be very interesting to, to try to to, to take the information out of these portraits no? and talk about abusive relationships, about toxic relationships between men and women through these portraits of Picasso. I think that would be a nice exercise.